Hi, I'm Larry Bowron, the Aviation Director at the Battle Creek Executive Airport here in Battle Creek, Michigan. I want to welcome all of the new City Commissioners to the City Commission and I hope you enjoy this video as we explain just a little bit about the airport. The concept of this airport was established in 1923 by the Battle Creek Chamber of Commerce and it's amazing to me that while flight uh, was still in its infancy, the City of Battle Creek had, had the foresight and the understanding that an airport would be critical to, to their financial solvency. So by 1924, in September, the airport was born, and in August of 25, the Battle Creek Airport was open for business. So just recently, last year in August, we celebrated our 95th birthday. So when you think of the airport, you may not have a full understanding of um, the size, um, the depth, the breadth of what we actually have here in Battle Creek. The Battle Creek Executive Airport is 1,260 acres, three runways. Our primary runway is 10,000 feet, 150 feet wide. We have a parallel runway that's 4,100 feet by 75 feet, and then we have a crosswind runway that's 4,835 feet as well. We have major tenants all along um, the edges of the airport, including the Air National Guard, Western Michigan University, we have the FAA, we have Duncan Aviation, and we have uh, Waco Classic, and we have numerous T-hanger tenants. You'll hear more about those tenants um, in a bit. But the airport is really like a small city. So we have um, miles and miles of perimeter fence. We have miles and miles of road. We have uh, wildlife hazard management programs. We have, we have storm drainage systems. Um, we have grounds, facilities to maintain. So the airport is, is, is a lot more than you might think. One of the more important aspects of the airport is that it serves as an economic development tool and a job center. So we, we currently have approximately 1,200 jobs inside the fence at the airport, with the, with the biggest employer being Duncan Aviation, and they're, they're well over 600 employees. But um, as it relates to economic development, two of our tenants uh, recently uh, began and are, are wrapping up um, some pretty large capital investments in the airport. One would be Western Michigan University College of Aviation, where they're going to be wrapping up probably next spring an $18 million expansion. And the second would be Waco Aircraft Company, and they are um, in the process of wrapping up a $22 million expansion. Uh, we have a lot of room to grow. Uh, we have room for existing tenants to continue to expand, as well as um, the west side of the airport that we have been investing in and uh, hope to have about 120 to 160 acre contiguous development site for more commercial aeronautical business. Just some windshield tours here uh, would certainly love to an extent an invitation to all the commissioners and have you back and come in person when things settle down and we can uh, give you the full tour but we're, we're about to traverse the apron at Duncan Aviation. Duncan Aviation is the largest privately owned aircraft remanufacturing plant in North America. It's owned by the Duncan family and their headquarters are out of Lincoln, Nebraska. But what Duncan Aviation does is they remanufacture aircraft. So. When an airplane comes to Duncan, that airplane's going to get its engines overhauled, the paint's going to come off the fuselage, they're going to get a new paint job, a brand new interior, and uh, they even give you a death certificate for your paint. So they're, they're, they're doing their work on a lot of corporate jets, but they do have a primary work agreement with NetJets, which is a Berkshire Hathaway company that owns and operates you know, fractionally owned jets. NetJets is actually the second largest airline in the world, they just happen to be a private airline. All right, so this is the apron at Waco Aircraft Corporation, and you're looking at two of their brand new hangars. They've also constructed a new fixed base operator, or FBO, and on the second floor, um, you'll see coming into view is a, a brand new restaurant in town. It's going to be the, the newest restaurant in Battle Creek with a, with a three seasons um, outdoor eating area. Um, it's going to be a really, really nice addition to our city. Um, Waco Aircraft Corporation manufactures the 1943 Waco. It's an open cockpit, tail drag aircraft, and uh, it has a lot of historical significancy. Part of the, their new plan is to remanufacture the 1919 F-13 Junker, which is an all-aluminum aircraft that they used for initial air transport over in Europe.
So this blue building in the foreground of the video is our South T hangers. This is a unit of 10 T hangers. And this is where uh, small aircraft that are privately owned, uh, local citizens, local businessmen, actually house their aircraft. We have about 50 of these T hangers. We have some along Helmer Road as well. But they do provide a, a good source of revenue. And obviously, we, we enjoy having the, uh, the aircraft here and uh, providing a place for the, for the local Battle Creek folks who do fly to keep their airplane close. The other large object you're looking at is the air traffic control tower. The control tower was built back in like 2003, 2004, and it's 120 feet above the ground. It's an FAA control tower, but it's operated by Midwest Air Traffic Control under a contract agreement with the FAA. There's no way we could be the airport that we are today um, with, the, with the amount of traffic that we have without air traffic controllers that are providing separation services for the aircraft. This next building is a large hangar office facility. It houses uh, a very special unit of the FAA. It's called a Flight Inspection Field Office. And they've got aircraft based here in Battle Creek that fly the entire Great Lakes region. And what they, what they fly is all of the uh, airways in the sky, the highways in the sky, the Victor Airways. And uh, they, they do maintenance and uh, make sure that all of those electronic satellite-based, space-based, ground-based nav aids are actually doing their job. Okay, so we're on Taxiway Charlie, uh, making our way up to Western Michigan University College of Aviation, but we wanted to point out um, some of the maintenance projects that we do. So Taxiway Charlie is our long parallel taxiway. It allows the aircraft to traverse the airfield to runway ends to get to the runway and get off the runway. And we're coming up on a new section of Charlie, uh, Taxiway Charlie Phase 3, that was recently completed just last week. So you'll see the new asphalt, the new markings. Again, this was Phase 3 of Taxiway Charlie, and this phase was about just about $4 million project. So um, maintaining this heavy infrastructure, runways and taxiways, um, is not cheap. But we were able to participate in the FAA Aviation uh, or Airport Improvement Program, wherein we get grants federal grants that have 90% um, uh, federal FAA money and then require 5% match from the state of Michigan, Office of Aeronautics, and a 5% match from the city of Battle Creek. So we get a lot of bang for our buck from that grant program, but again, um, maintaining this type of heavy infrastructure um, can be quite costly. Okay, so we're on the East Apron, um, which is really home to Western Michigan University College of Aviation, uh, Sky Broncos. They have quite a few large hangars over here that they've acquired over the years. And uh, Western Michigan University's program at the College of Aviation is probably the third largest collegiate flight training program in the United States. Now, they don't only train pilots. They also train mechanics to work on the aircraft. And they also tra they have an aviation management curriculum um, to train airport managers. Uh, the building that's uh, in the frame now is actually the, the expanded part of the college. I mentioned earlier that they have uh, uh, been working earnestly on a $22 million expansion. They hope the expansion to be done the fall of this next year. It's going to allow them to increase their capacity amongst all three programs, pilots, mechanics, and airport managers. Again, this this particular operation, the College of Aviation, is located on the east side of the airport, so you'll probably you probably see quite a bit of it when you uh, drive north and southbound on Helmer Road. So we're on the north side of the airport now. Um, the Air National Guard leases about 315 acres. Um, previously, they've had uh, A-10 Warthogs out here. Um, they had F-16 Cap missions uh, during. Uh, the post 9-11 era. Uh, right now they currently do not have a, a fixed wing aircraft mission. Um, so they're, they're leasing the hangars to Defense Logistics Agency. Uh, they are working on, on trying to get an aviation based mission, but that's, that's, a tough, uh, that's a tough challenge. Hi, my name is Miles Weaver. I'm the Airport Operations Manager for the Battle Creek Executive Airport. And just wanna welcome you to the Airport Administration Operations Maintenance, Maintenance Facility, or AOMF. My overall responsibilities are to oversee the safe and efficient operation of the airport, uh, the day-to-day -day activities. So I do have a uh, 
a team of eight maintenance and operations personnel to help me do that. Just want to welcome you to the vehicle storage area portion of that of the AOMF where uh, we house a lot of the snow removal equipment, uh, mowing equipment, and vehicles that we use for the maintenance and snow and ice removal. So we are in the vehicle maintenance area where two of the eight staff that we have uh, maintain all of our equipment for snow removal and other activities. We also have two electricians and three generalists, uh, specialists, and then also a maintenance coordinator. All right, so another critical component of my job is to ensure compliance with our FAA Part 139 Airport Operating Certificate. So a lot of that entails um, conducting daily self-inspections and maintaining manuals, which the key one is the airport certification manual, and there's a lot of exhibits to that, which include the snow and ice control plan, airport emergency plan, wildlife hazard management plan, as well as conducting uh, safety inspections on fueling facilities that are operated by the tenants. All right, so a couple more items that I'd like to uh, discuss are maintaining uh, safety during construction projects. So the way we do that is we implement a construction safety phasing plan that is utilized by the contractors as well as airport staff to ensure a safe operating environment because construction does happen while the airport's open. And then lastly is uh, special events. So we do host large air show with the Battle Creek Hot Air Balloon Championships. We submit a ground operations plan that's approved by the FAA as well as the state. And so that, those are a couple of more items that um, I do as well. Some of you may not be familiar with the new name Battle Creek Executive Airport and probably more familiar with our former name, the W.K. Kellogg Airport. We recently changed the name of the airport and that was part of a a strategic business plan and a marketing effort to better market the airport, specifically geographically, so people understand um, our tie to the city of Battle Creek. So this is our new logo. Hopefully you'll be seeing this around town more. Uh, we have an uh, exciting project underway in a new monument sign that'll be placed out along uh, Columbia Avenue in front of the airport operations and maintenance facility. So take a look for that. And I want to encourage you to go to our new website that's also part of our marketing plan, and that's flybtl.com. Again, flybtl.com. We have a lot of good information. It's a great way to get familiar with the airport. And then I also want to point you to a, a relatively new video that was produced in partnership with Battle Creek Unlimited and the city manager's office, again, to help promote, to promote the new name and to help promote the airport. So with that, I hope that uh, you, you're becoming more familiar with the city and uh, if you have any questions, would love to give any of you a personal tour of the airport at your convenience.